Couple years, what a done home feeling about you. What up, everybody? Lisa here, and you requested it. So here is your 13 Reasons Why Season 2 update for the day. I didn't really feel like getting camera ready because some days you just don't want to get out of your PJs, right? So unfortunately, you're just stuck with my awkward voice on this one. Some of you may find that better. Who knows? But here we go. We've got a few new video clips and pictures for Season 2, and now we're going to break them down. The first thing I want to take a look at is another cut of the trailer that's on Instagram that you may see on your feed as a sponsored post by the 13 Reasons Why Instagram. This short teaser uses a lot of the same footage we've already seen from the original trailer, but there are a couple new scenes. Let's just go ahead and roll it. Into Hannah and after Hannah. So we have more of our characters watching during the trial. Clay ends up getting a tattoo of a semicolon which Selena Gomez and cast members from the show got in real life after wrapping season one. This semicolon tattoo is significant because it's a symbol of hope and a semicolon signals the continuation of a sentence rather than the ending of one like an abrupt period. The mark actually represents mental health struggles and the importance of suicide prevention. If you want to know more about that, you can look up the semicolon project. It also seems like Clay may be getting the tattoo in the color blue, like the nail polish that Hannah wore in season one and used to write on the tapes, or that could just be the lighting on that one, because sometimes black and blue, depending on light, can interchange. We also have Jessica struggling, Tyler back in his dark room. Who are these pictures of that he's looking at? And we get to see Alex struggling with his rehabilitation after a suicide attempt at the end of last season. Yes, I'm still going with the fact that it's a suicide attempt. I know many think that he was shot by someone else, possibly. But for me, everything at the end of season one just pointed to him trying to take his own life. We also see that shot of someone in the ambulance that was in the first trailer. My thoughts on who this is might have actually changed since I mentioned it that first time. Now it's kind of looking more to me like it could be Justin or maybe that new character Scott played by Brandon Butler who we see making the finger gun. And that's just because of the uh, juxtaposition of that clip with these other characters. Or my way off and this is maybe like a flashback to when Hannah was possibly taken away in the ambulance. So today on Twitter, the 13 Reasons Why shared another little bit of information from it looks like episode three, which I'm guessing is an opening narration for that episode. And it seems to me like this is coming from Jessica's point of view. It says, I don't blame Hannah for anything. That's how it is for girls. People judge you by the way you look, the things they hear about you. They put a label on you. I just feel like boys get to define themselves. They get to choose their identity and they can hide behind it. Well, most boys. I think some know what it's like to be afraid, to feel like the world gave you a certain label that you have to live with for the rest of your life. But most boys don't know what it's like. Every single girl does. So we just start expecting them to put a label on us and we just do it to ourselves. Sometimes it seems like no matter what you do, people still see you the way they want to. But even when things get really tough, all it takes is just one friend to get you through it. If you're lucky, you find more than one. You find friends who see through the labels. I found those friends. Now let's move on to the lyric video for Selena Gomez's new song, Back To You, which is featured in season two. She released a lyric video on her channel, which had some images from the show, but it was a little too archy to be able to really make things out for me that I could tell were clues. Netflix, however, released a shorter video with actual footage from the show, so let's take a look at that one. Like a shy, thought that I could chase you with the cold evening. It looks like the scene from the first trailer where we saw Jessica and Nina looking at someone in the cafeteria and they stitched it together with Scott making that finger gun at them. Yeah, well, in this promo, it looks like it's Justin that Jessica is looking at as he arrives back at school looking kind of rough. I'm gonna guess he's been missing for a while. We saw him run off, and maybe this is his first time back at school since the events of what happened in season one. This is the first time he's seen Jessica. We also see that Alex is back at school looking on at this interaction. And the way that Jessica glances over at Justin, then at Alex, it makes me feel like there could be a little bit of a love triangle here. There are also a lot of scenes in this one we've seen before, but we get to see a beat up Tony getting comfort in Caleb's arms, and then later it seems like there could be something more there. Clay is seeing visions of Hannah, and if you're following the Alex or Jessica Instagrams, the next scene might look familiar. We have Alex and Jessica on the shore, and Alex has ditched his cane, and Jessica's helping him walk his way into the water. And there's also some loving glances there. Could they have maybe 
maybe rekindled their romance in these tough times of both of them trying to rebuild their lives after what happened in season one, or are these just glances of friendship? We also end up seeing them cruising together in a convertible, so they're spending a lot of time together. We get a throwback to the movie theater scene, or this could actually just be another new flashback that was filmed for this season that we haven't seen before, but it just gives me all the feels all the same. And then we see Alex sporting a new haircut that shows off his scar, happily dancing with Jessica at the school dance, but then she looks over his shoulder and sees Justin watching. So yeah, pretty much this trailer makes it feel like or hints at that even in these dark times, some characters may find some happiness when it comes to love and friendship. The video also gives us a hint at to who else is in the soundtrack. Well, it's not really a hint because they actually tell us who's in the soundtrack. This week, we also got a handful of new photos from the season that were released. Let's see, anything else to talk about? Well, if you search the hashtag 13 days to why, it seems like there are various things happening around the country that may have clues if you find them. A lot of cities have Tony's car parts somewhere and there are also murals painted all around town. I think there's one in Chicago. Like I mentioned earlier, both Instagrams for the characters of Alex and Jessica have been made public. As far as your comments on my other breakdown, there are so many people who still think Hannah is alive. Now, the original book had an alternate ending in which Hannah lived, which was actually the original ending, but it was changed when the book was published because having her live, from what I gathered, did not give the storyline as much of an impact or punch to drive the message home. I'm still going with the fact that Hannah did not survive the events of season one. I'm pretty sure the Hannah we see in the trailers of the footage for season two and the photos are vision forms of Hannah, and we'll probably see Hannah in some kind of flashback form, I'm guessing like that movie theater scene. And well, I guess that's all I got for you guys for now. Sorry if none of this stuff sounds like super new insight. It was just requested and I wanted to deliver for you guys. For my breakdown of the full trailer though, you can click on one of those little boxes that's probably popping up somewhere on your screen. And as always, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. We're going to be talking about more 13 Reasons Why, especially when it comes out. And now I'm going to go make a sandwich. Bye!